Hello everybody! Welcome to our weekly dose of physical therapy. I am Dorivik Arma, a physical therapy intern from RTRMF, and today we'll be talking about the pathophysiology of inferior gluteal nerve injury. Let's get started! The inferior gluteal nerve supplies the gluteus maximus muscle as it provides motor function to this major muscle involved in hip extension and external rotation. Injury to this nerve is commonly caused by total hip arthroplasty via posterior approach. It is the preferred approach to the hip for both primary and revision arthroplasty due to its visualization of the femoral shaft. However, there is no exact internervous plane and the inferior gluteal nerve is often not visualized. This can damage the nerve either through direct trauma from sharp dissection, devascularization, or stretching of the nerve from instrumentation. Then, there will be denervation of the ipsilateral gluteus maximus muscle causing a gluteus maximus lurch. This results from the weakening or absence of an ipsilateral hip extension. For instance, in a normal gait cycle, the gluteus maximus will begin to contract at the moment of the ipsilateral heel strike to initiate ipsilateral hip extension. However, the gait is affected in patients with inferior gluteal nerve injury because the trunk will extend or lean back when the heel strikes on the ground on the affected side to compensate for the weak or absent hip extension. In addition to this clinical point of views, patients may also present wasting of the ipsilateral gluteus maximus muscle and loss of its defined shape. This is the reason why an interprofessional team approach should be taken to managing patients, including physiotherapy, to promote immediate recovery and return to prior level of function. I hope you've learned something today. Thank you so much for listening and see you again on my next video.